Hello. We just got to Home Depot and the wood that I want to use online it says they got three sheets here but that's not so they're supposed to have three sheets here this isn't maple they got 21 sheets at a different home depot so i think we're gonna get the majority of what i need here and i'm gonna have to go to another home depot to get the plywood that i want to use for this build which sucks um Hello, you That's Robert right there. <laughs> We're having a change of heart here. So we picked this up. And this countertop is really heavy. And then we felt that countertop over there and it's like, what, probably half the half weight? Half the weight. So that's one thing to kind of keep in mind too when you're building these things. Um, some weight, weight is an issue too. So I got black mineral oil to seal this, but that's already pretty dark. But I think I want to go with the weight, especially with it being a four window single wheel. It, it isn't made to handle as much weight as the Dooley's. My gut's telling me go with the lighter countertop. So we're gonna put this back and get the lighter one. Yeah, this one's much lighter. <laughs> Good morning everyone, Jaylene and I are leaving Mindy's, uh, she is so amazing, we didn't get finished buying materials yesterday so we stayed in town, we're going to continue going to go pick up materials and Jaylene has got a, an appointment here and we're going to go do that, so we're going to finish getting all the materials for this build today, right? Yep. Okay. This is Home Depot number two. Plywood is a national treasure these days. And here we go. I like to use three quarter inch pre-finished maple. I really like the finish on this stuff. It's like super industrial. I mean, you can't get it dirty. It's really, really strong. I love it. And if you want to paint it, you can paint the other side. I like this stuff. Also, it's about $3 cheaper than it was when I did Brandon's bus. So we need two sheets, but we might just get four just to have it. So we're going to get a cart and grab it.
I saw were Jerry's in Eugene and they used to have this cedar paneling that was like a decorative 4x8 sheet and they don't have it so we have to readjust our build plan uh, and I think I have some cedar panel packages at the shop and some scrap I think I'm just gonna run without it for now and then when we come back down next week we'll buy material to do the sections that we need to do so they don't have what we need at Jerry's that sucks okay we just got back to Mindy's we have spent two whole days shopping getting materials for the 30-day bus build let me show you minion right now look at all this plywood Obviously, there's some stuff from the P.O. box in there, too, but a lot of that is material for 30-day bus build. Two days <laughs> we've been shopping. We're tired. Yeah. My feet hurt. Yeah, tonight is New Year's Eve, and we're getting ready to do a live chat. Yep. So we're going to unload a couple things at Mindy's, and then we're going to drive up to the shop, get ready for that live chat, which will already be out by the time this video comes out. Yep. But I'm going to, you know... So yeah, let's head up the road. I'm gonna, you know. Okay, Mindy, we'll see you next year. See you next year. Mm, knees and toes. Bye. You're gonna be your daddy. You're gonna be your daddy. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Hello everyone. It's the end of day one and we got the roof painted black. That was our main mission uh, because it is really cold in the PNW so it's like you really got to be conscious of dry times and we needed to get this painted so it can dry. Uh, so the next time we come in here, this stuff isn't super wet and just wiping right off. We want this to really cook. And as you can tell, I do have a heater on it right now, kind of cooking the paint. I'm going to leave it on here for a while, let this really set up. And it's not just going to be a black ceiling, if that's what you're thinking. Like, this is just uh, a base coat of something underneath something else. And I'm really stoked to show you what the ceiling is going to look like, and you will see it by the end of the video. But that's the end of day one. Stoke. Welcome to day three of the 30 day short bus build. And I already started filming and I forgot to do my little intro. I wanna try and do the intro for each day and the outro for each day. Uh, what I've done so far is I'm kind of putting back the stuff in the roof, the lights and the speakers so far from when I painted it black. And now uh, today's mission is to do the trim. So we're gonna cut a piece of ply here cedar panel it for a trim piece back there we're gonna do a trim piece a cedar trim piece here we're gonna do a cedar trim piece there cedar trim piece there just to give it some pop of like some woodwork um, just to mix it I always like like go for like a modern kind of rustic kind of vibe and we really want to get that done today so that we can get the roof in in the next day because that's kind of a big mission. I need to get everything done today that's gonna be in the way of the roof. So that's the mission today is to prep for the roof. We might even get to cutting the boards and sealing them for the roof, but we'll see. If we can just get the trim pieces done today, we'll be doing great. So that's where we're at. <music>
I want to take a minute here and talk about oils. I really like oils. The reason I like oils is I can, you seen how quick I just wiped it on and I can hang it and I'm done, right? If this was paint, I'd have to let the paint dry. Take a second, do another coat, you know, it slows you down. With oils, I can just wipe it on, hang it. Wipe it on, hang it. If it needs more oil, I just add more oil. So that's why I like oils. Specifically, I like Danish oils. And you can get that in a bunch of different pigments. It just speeds up the build process. I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering about this little like funky looking corner right here. I was wondering about it too. The reason I don't really care is because I'm putting a plywood wall right here and a dowel rod. So you're not even gonna see it. Um, but it just, it gives it a little bit of wood inside of there just for your eye to catch it. But I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do better, better trim work here. It's coming Should pieces. Just black? Oh yeah. Black. You know what, Jaylena's got good ideas once in a while.
I keep trying to use the GoPro. I was just using the GoPro for time lapse clips. And here we are. I mean, again. So it's like, I can't use this camera anymore at all. I keep trying. I screwed up. All right, everybody, that is the end of day three of the 30 day short bus build. Um, we were trying really, really hard to get these cabinets finished and put up tonight, but like, ah, uh, we just got burnt out, we got tired and we just called it. So that's gonna be the end of this one. And we are super stoked. I think we're, we're doing all right. And we'll see you next week. Uh, in another 30 day short bus build for me and you guys kind of see how far we got in a week from here So maybe it'll be done. I guess we'll all see so if you guys like bus building stuff or bus life adventures Make sure to subscribe if you're not already hit that little notification bell and I'll stoke to see you in the next one. Peace